the process has been amazing. The people have been so gracious and so supportive of what we're doing. The energy here is fantastic with so many couples getting married. It's just been an absolutely fantastic experience. So wonderful. By the power vested in me, I declare you spouses for life. Thank you. <laughs> to actually be able to get married and be a part of this time in history and time in our history is amazing. So this is a momentous occasion for us to be able to actually have this opportunity to have it stick and to have equal rights. We've been together for 14 years. Everyone has been so welcoming. It's been all set up and people have guided us from step to step. Um, it's been easy. There was live music. Um, people are so friendly and, and congratulatory. Excited. Yeah. So excited for us. It's yeah. really great. Yeah. And Salvador is party A, heretofore known as party A. You know, while on the outside, it looks pretty simple. You know, you come in, you made your appointment, you paid, you go here for your license, you go there to get married, and then you go there if you want to purchase a certified copy. But behind the scenes, I mean, there was just this monumental, just mountain of work, the details into everything that we had to do. And we quickly realized that we were not staffed up to issue the number of licenses that people are anticipating that we would need to issue. We definitely did not want people waiting in long lines. This is somebody's wedding. You want to be able to plan and invite your family and friends. You know, know what time you're going to be able to get your marriage license. Know what time you're going to have your ceremony. We got city volunteers, we got members of the public volunteering, we had our regular volunteers volunteering. And we had such an overwhelming response from, from city employees, from the members of the general public, that we had way more volunteers than we could ever have hoped for. We had to come up with a training program. I mean, there's different functions of this whole um, operation. You were either you know, a check-in person, you were a greeter, you were uh, part of the license issuing unit, you were a deputy marriage commissioner, or you were on the recording side. And each one of those functions required a different set of skills, a different oath of office if they needed to be sworn in as a deputy county clerk to issue marriage licenses, or as a deputy county recorder if they were going to register the marriage licenses, or as a deputy marriage commissioner if they were going to be performing ceremonies. Donna, place the ring on Beatrice's left ring finger and repeat after The marriage commissioner training was only about half an hour. It was very simple, it was very well run, very smooth, um, and then we were all sworn in. They said that we would get our schedules Sunday night, and so 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, you know, I got it at 11 o'clock. This person who, who was orchestrating all the uh, shifts and the volunteers and who does what, uh, you know, sent it from her office at Sunday night at 11 o'clock. <laughs> so they're just really helping each other and it's a wonderful atmosphere in that way. And have you filled out an application Not yet. yet. Okay. So we want to do that, right? Yep, yes. so you can take this to this. It's right over there. Okay. There's the pens. All right. And, and take it to the counter when you're done. Very good. All right, congratulations, you. you guys. For those volunteers, what a gift for them as well as us, that they would take up their time and contribute that time, but also that they would in turn receive so much more back because they're part of the narrative of someone else's love and expression of love in life. This isn't anything that we had budgeted for, so it was basically we asked our IT director to do the best you can, you know, beg, borrow, you know, steal if you have to, and get us what we need to do this. And he knew what the mission was, he knew what our goal was, and you know, with our IT group and Kenton and our software vendor, they really came together and pulled it together for us in the North Light Court. So it made it possible for us uh, to be able to serve as many you know, couples as we have been. 
So once you're ready, you and your husband-to-be or wife-to-be need to check in here and then check in with me again, okay? And are you also going to get married today? Yeah. Or Okay, so let's process you one by one. I'm going get to get you to do your license here, exit, and re-enter here checking again at that well, desk, well, okay? Our, our wedding's at the 3, so... It can be at any time. Okay. City Hall's going to take care of you today, okay? okay as long so. as we get you in today, right? We're getting married at 2.30. 2 Don't worry about the but, timeline. But we have the light. We're greeting people right here at the doorway and either directing them to the services that they need on this side, which is licensing, or the services they need on this side, which is actually getting the ceremony performed. This is an opportunity to choose to be a part of history. Many times history happens to us, but in this case, you can choose to be a part of it. This is a very historic day, and so I'm very, very proud to be here. Since volunteering last Monday, I've performed 12 different marriage ceremonies. The least amount of time that any of the couples that I've married have been together is two years. So most of the couples have been together eight, nine, ten. I'd say about 70% have been together at least that long, if not longer. I think there's a lot of misconception out in the world about who gay and lesbian people are. And I think it's important that people see that we love our husbands and wives to be and we love our children and have the right to have families just like everyone else. The support that we have experienced from our own families, our own friends, and then the excitement of the volunteers when we get here has made us feel wonderful and accepted and celebrated. There was a lot of city agencies and city departments, divisions that are um, offer up their, um, their employees to help us out. It's an overwhelming response. It's unbelievable how city government works. So this is a, the time that San Francisco city employees have really outshined. San Francisco's clerk's office didn't need to hear from the mayor to say, okay, what's your plan, what's your thing, but then offered a plan and said, here's what our strategy is, here's what we think we can do. We can open up the North Light Court, we can add all these computers here and there, we can connect our databases, we can expand our capacity by X, we can open up early, we can stay open late, we can stay open on the weekends. It was unbelievable. And we can coordinate all of the training for our volunteers and then swear them in as deputy marriage commissioners. And we can get all through the processing and make sure everything's verified and signed and certified. Now, that's an example and a model for others. And this is what, what happens is when people prove that things can be done, it just raises the bar for what's possible for everybody else. It kind of went out according to plan. I mean, this is what we've planned for. And in some respects, people have kind of commented to you, oh my God, you know, you, you, you're part of history, and how many couples did we marry? How many families did we start? How many dreams did we make come true? And that, you know, the whole part of being a part of history, I just feel like this was kind of like something that we are here and we're charged with this responsibility to carry out. <laughs>